lot of people in Bosnia, they are not comfortable with the creeping Islamization that's going on in terms of uh, the growing influence or the, uh, the growing practice of conservative Salafist Islam. Uh, they're very uncomfortable with that. You can see this sort of tug of war that's going on uh, between the two forms of Islam on the streets where uh, more and more you can see uh, women uh, wearing the, not just the headscarves but Islamic dress, uh, young men wearing Saudi style beards, uh, wearing Saudi style clothing with uh, you know, very loose fitting garments with uh, short pantaloons and, um, and skull caps, um, which is something you really never saw uh, 15 years ago uh, in the Muslim parts of the Balkans. One of the things that's really important to understand is that um, despite all of this Western assistance to Kosovo and Bosnia, assistance from both the United States and the European Union, uh, both governments uh, are, are riddled with corruption. There's a great deal of, of dysfunctional government, um, social turmoil, poverty, uh, lack of services, bad education, and all of this contributes to um, alienating young people uh, uh, discouraging them about uh, their future and the kind of state they live in and they l hear uh, this propaganda coming from the Islamic State saying you know we are uh, the state that you should be a part of the states that you live in uh, have failed you your governments have failed you uh, we won't fail you you will be a part of uh, this new uh, state that we're establishing and I think that has a great deal uh, that of pull on, on certain types of young people.